Good morning. It's morning for me. I don't know how old this chat is, but we got Becky Davies, SJ, SK, DM, Epic Cody, Forever and More Films, Axair, Adar Gaming. We're back again in the Black Hawk. Trying it again yesterday. Had some latency issues. <laughs> May have sorted them out slightly. I don't know. But if not, we'll push through it anyway. But yeah, this is the uh, the H-60 free helicopter project by Destroyer 121. Of course, we're in Indonesia. A lot of airports, a lot of strips out here. But we're just gonna get going. Why waste time, you know? Again, it's got a little delay with the sounds. What's up, Aviation TV? I forget every time with this stick. A little calibration trick you have to do. It never holds. It's always that throttle. What's up, Ladybug Monkey? Alright, let's go ahead and try to get her off the ground. Oh my god. I don't know why you guys see so much... so much lag. So, no plan. There's just, there's so many airports to see. We'll stay at this one, though. This one's cool to appreciate. Is there any way to have uh, this as AI traffic? Um, not yet. The AI traffic still kind of... They're starting to figure it out with liveries and stuff. I mean, there will be a way. I don't know right now that you could add. I mean, even if someone else is using this helicopter right now, I noticed... On multiplayer, it shows up as like a big green box, because that's what you get if you're not using the the Airland FS app, which is the code that that um that runs this helicopter and makes it work as a helicopter. So I noticed if anybody else is on on multiplayer, you see them that way.
I'm completely out of ideas in figuring out what is causing this lag on stream. Um, one thing I, let me try, is this set a capture specific window hit? Auto maybe? I'll try that. I don't think it makes a difference, but I'll try it. Um, yeah, I use head tracking. I just, um, I'd love to use head tracking with this, but the way the, the stream has been performing, I think it makes it even worse if I try to use head tracking right now. And, uh, right now it's just face cam or head tracking for me. The head tracking I use is webcam based. I did find in the NVIDIA control panel that VSync had turned itself on again for Microsoft Flight Center. I think it's happening after the driver updates. So I've been having to look out for that. So that was on. I guess it didn't affect anything because I turned it off. I guess I'll leave that airport. I just need some sense of direction on where the others are. So there's a couple ways we could do this. I'll go left up this way. The funny thing is, last night I did a couple live streams of privately. And it looked like it was running decently, but then right now it's not. It looks, it looks really choppy. It sucks. I don't know what to do to fix it. Captures nicely with shadow play and everything. That's my main way of capturing. Maybe I need to go back to an old, uh, some people were, were talking about they went back to old Streamlab versions because of this. They'd be fine and then they'd get to a new version and it would cause this. Just trees. We gotta get over this hill.
lobster. Actually, if you have this installed, although I haven't seen helicopters fly on their own as AI, but I know sometimes you install an aircraft in the community folder and you will start seeing it populate on the maps. So that's a possibility too. Having it installed, it might you might see it. I don't know where all this speed is coming from. The throttle's at idle. <laughs> it just keeps gaining speed. Look at it. stuff like that. Kind of, uh, it's kind of not really controllable right now. Laburro, thank you for the sub, buddy. try one thing and see if that helps the stream at all it is I hate doing it I don't want to go this slow let's see what medium does it's not even the sim man I'm getting like it's got to be 70 FPS right now on, on screen it doesn't seem like that helps it's just, it's just really frustrating Literally nothing changed since my last stream. I might as well use Ultra. I mean, if it's going to look the way it does anyway. Either way. I might as well at least get to enjoy it. Let's go. What's up, Omari? It's going good. For the most part. Just a little frustrated on the stream quality. I can't 
can't get over it. It's not pushing out a smooth frame rate to the stream. Like, I don't know what's inhibiting it from doing that. I've tried everything. How are you doing? I don't think it's going your way. Too. Like what's my up speed? That's how they get you to go with the better packages. Alright, let's go. About 90 megabits per second on the down. Three megabits per second on the up speed. It's under that though, it's like 2.8, 2.90. Hmm, that could be it, the up speed right now. But then again, I don't know. It's not, we didn't do it with the, what did we do? Airport renovator yesterday? It was okay. So gaming with a teeth. I do want to stay in these hills. It's hot out there. That's been cooling down for us out this way. But yeah. God for the beach. <laughs> it was fun. It took two hours to renovate the airport. I thought that was a good amount of time for one. But it's still out there, you could skim through it on the replay. I think it's good, yeah. A flying aspect, uh, a slight flying aspect would be pretty fun to incorporate. Uh, but cleaning up the airport, I mean, we had to... What was the first thing we had to do? Well, we had to, like, mow the lawn off the runway, off the edges. We had to cut down some trees. We had to power wash the, the terminal building that they have. Uh, the inside and outside. We had to clean up a lot of the trash. We had to place new runway lights. You can plant stuff, plant seeds. Oh, we had to blow all the sand off the runway and the porch of the terminal. So it had a good amount of detail.
want to look at this river. And then head this way. Yeah, it was the demo. I was impressed for the demo. <coughs> and then there's a few more airports to check out. But they're not included in the demo. But the demo is free if you want to try it yourself. It's worth the time, I would say. See how display capture works. Same, not smooth. Freaking OBS. This is why I quit using OBS for screen capture. Because it got this way at one point. All my screen capture would be slow. So then I went back to Shadow Play. Shadow Play used to suck. For me. Halfway through your recording, you'd find out the screen was blacked out. And you, you don't know that because there's no preview. Like in OBS. I guess we'll go left and we can't go forward anymore. I'm trying to hit those mountains. Had to get this stream in early. Got a lot of football to watch today. Two games I want to see. I want to see Carolina, Dallas, and then I want to watch Tampa Bay, New England. Place that has airports everywhere. I haven't seen it yet. I mean, I've been here enough. They're, they are everywhere. Guess you gotta map them out. Stop. 
here? Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Favorite food overall. Um, I think I'd have to say sushi. Good, like some good sushi. But I like a lot of foods. It's hard to narrow it down to one. What about you? What's your favorite food? That was weird. I don't think it's related, but as soon as I closed Sim Toolkit Pro, the screens died. But it looked like it got smoother. That's funny. I wonder if the screen's dying made it smoother. What if all my troubles are just related to this Black Hawk helicopter? I'm up at Sintel Kit Pro back, see what happens. An update is required. Screen's probably died because some batterator, batter, batterator, turn the batterator on. No, but some type of generator issue. I don't know. There aren't many buttons. Oh yeah, I don't know uh, my airspeed or anything now. I forgot. Hey, but yo. Hmm, and it's slow again. Let me test this out again. I'm gonna close some toolkit, bro. Let's see, I'm gonna watch it if it changes immediately. Not really, I couldn't tell. Hello, Born Diagram. Yeah, it's just not working out too well. I guess I didn't thoroughly test this helicopter to see if it was stream worthy or not. I don't even know where the hell we are. change the title. I wanted to do something else. But am I crazy or is it smoother? Hey, 
Hey, Born Diagram. How are you doing? It's interesting how they did these reflections. It's like a photo that moves based on where you move. Been done that way for ages, though, I guess. But shoot. Got no air speed. How do we do it? <laughs> Gonna have to scrap this. That is correct, yeah. I'm surprised that's even simulated in this, because, you know, none of the other buttons really work. I'm guessing that's what happened. It's a free, you know, it's a new project, free helicopter. Uh, let me get over this hill and then I'll look at that. Or I need to land it somewhere. See if I can turn that stuff back on. Probably not. Once it dies, it dies, but maybe it's... Maybe it'll let me. Well, let's put it up on this hill if I find a spot. Yeah, after the screens died, the stream got a little smoother. A little bit, I'm noticing. trees, though. Where do you land it? That's a possibility in there. But challenging. Yeah, I'll pick one of those spots. I'll try. Anyway. not knowing how fast I'm going. It's the only way to adjust it though. Active pause won't help me. As soon as I unpause it, it'll probably go 300 knots into the ground. so I can work with it. Now that I'm closer, it's really not level. It's actually kind of uphill. this spot here. Hey, what's up, executive? How's it going? We're uh, just crashing helicopters here today. A big fan. Hey, appreciate that. Well, nice to e-meet you. If you haven't been on stream before, I don't recognize the name. Unless you change your name.
think I need to complete. <laughs> How do I change this one? How do I change this stream? I don't think we can use the Blackhawk anymore. I might need to switch the title and the thumbnail or something else. And hopefully we don't slide down this hill. Yeah, that's a steep hill to put the helicopter down on. I don't know about that. It's weird when you're landing on something that's not level. Throws like... It just throws everything off. I don't know. Let's not do that spot. Good accent. I don't know what my accent is. A little bit of California and North Carolina, I guess. It's free. Totally free. Link is in the description. I don't know, they just quit working, and then the frame rate got better <laughs> after they quit working. Um, I'm assuming it's like the battery died or a generator wasn't on. I'm just uh, surprised that simmed, because nothing else, a lot of these buttons don't work. I can't get to the overhead panel. I'm trying to put it on the ground somewhere so I can look at that. And possibly switch aircraft. Maybe I'm in the wrong area, but this um, area is not as impressive as I remembered it. It's got to be because I'm in the wrong area. I just remember hitting airport after airport after airport. There's so many of them. But yeah, it's free. It's a work in progress. Helicopter. Don't expect too much. But if it is related, the the, uh, the way the stream is captured, related to the helicopter, that is strange. It's a strange problem because I didn't I didn't see an FPS gain in the stream. I mean, in the sim, I see it in the stream window. That's really weird. If the screens were affecting the FPS, you would expect it to be in the sim. But I'm giving I'm getting different results here. But it looks reasonable. Oh, there's some airports. Oh, we missed a few of them. I'm gonna go around to that one over there. Put it down there, possibly swap aircraft. Yeah, some of these mountains are a little glitchy. Nope, no. Nope. Well, I'm having some a different issue though. I'm having a stream issue, like a Streamlabs issue. I don't know what it is. So I'm getting about 55 frames per second in the Microsoft Flight Simulator window, but the stream is not allowing that. 
smoothness. And it was worse when the helicopter screens were working. On the stream end of it, which is very strange. As soon as those cut out, it got a little smoother. Uh, but my PC typically runs uh, this sim at Ultra. Almost everything maxed out. And I'll get, you know, frames in the 40s. This river actually looks pretty good. Now the map doesn't want to load the airports. What a piece of shit. It's just working fine. Is it almost seven? So I can go seven. I can go two more hours. some type of river flying. Obviously it won't look perfect everywhere. Hard to do, but we're working on it. The community's doing a lot to progress the sim too. Man, how about Microsoft Flight Simulator? Getting the I and I uh, the A three ten PMDG 7.3. There's too much. Too much. No, there's never too much, but too much to keep up with. Just welcome to this Ryanair helicopter. If you want a barf bag, we don't have them. Just open up the door and, and do it. If you've read our agreement, you must be prepared to die. <laughs> yeah, Ryanair is like forever that the meme memes him. Airline flying. could just do landing challenges for the next two hours. I am probably... No, they work. They just died. I, I think... I don't know if maybe the battery died. Which I didn't even know was working. There's just... I don't know, 90% of the switches in this don't work. So I didn't know any of that was working, if it is, and I haven't been able to land to look at the overhead panel. That's my other issue. 
like they died and then but I will say like the stream frame rate got better when the screens died not the sim frame rate but the stream frame rate it's, it's just weird Will landing work on the river? Probably. Probably. That river's just a little bit windy. We need to find a good river and do float planes. the river. A yellow brick road. You're 14. I remember being 14. What is that? 7th grade? 7th grade going into 8th or 8th going into 12th. Oh, I remember those days. It's nice when you don't have to go to school anymore. But then you gotta go to work. So pick something you enjoy. Ninth going into tenth, okay. I got my data wrong or do you start it early some people like based on when their birthday is they start the school year I mean not the school year but like their overall schooling a little earlier than others Down low, it must be up high, so let's climb. Got no airspeed. You'll be a rocket scientist. That's cool, man. Stick to that. I always try to do whatever you want to enjoy. It's hard figuring it out, though. And going to college straight out of high school is tough, too, because sometimes you don't have your mind made up on what you want to do. And the pressure of having to start, you just end up starting and then field that you don't necessarily want to be in. There's the airport down there. Pretty sure anyway, I see some buildings. If it is though, how in the hell do you land a plane there? Or maybe that's not it at all. Actually, I don't think it is. It's on the other side of that river. On the opposite side, so it's on this side. OK. 
Okay, so apparently we're heading straight to it. But I don't see it. Oh, there it is. That. Wow. Just thinking if I was a plane, how we... How do you get into that? Alright, well, we can put our helicopter there. there only and only with Ryanair. Circle. Circle it all. Ugh, my posture is so bad. Try India. I've done some flying out there. But I'd say not enough though. But I, I would do uh, I would do India for sure. screen issue. So I know I can at least do it with controls. Hmm. Well, the battery is on. Actually, you can't even... can move that. But these don't work. I don't know, maybe that's just the state it's in right now. Maybe the screens just die after a little while. Thank you. Especially with no, uh, no airspeed indicators. easy to do. Hmm. I want to keep flying this helicopter. Cycle the master. Where's the master master? Do you mean the battery? Well, I cycled the battery, but where, what do you mean? Where's like the master? I don't know my way around this helicopter. Oh, there's more stuff down here. Can I see them? Oh, look at that. We can go right up to the, the gun. What do these do? Let's push them. Disp. The 
these don't work. Thanks, Executive. Well, it's easy to do. With 22 people watching. It's kind of the nice thing, too. It's nice to have hundreds of people watch your stream, but at the same time, it's hard to talk to everybody. It's a nice lower chat. Uh-oh. Let's put that away. So this is the version I grabbed. I mean, I checked yesterday. It didn't look like there was a new version available. What airport are we at? I don't know. Well, here's the options. I can either go switch helicopters, we'll continue flying here, or I just do just do landing challenges for the rest of the time. Build 8 is the new one. Let me go to the website and see. Check the change log. They might have addressed some of these things. H60. Pizza Monster, what's going on? My voice is reassuring. That's nice. Nice of you to say. Um, it says I'm running 1.2. Off of flightsim.to. I don't know. You can try. I don't recall doing anything to prevent links from coming in. See, they're everywhere, though. I think I'm gonna scrap this stream, though, and just do, like, some landing challenges. Try to get all A's. Regroup next week on something else. I'm gonna try to stream Friday. I wanna do X-Plane 11. But I wanted to have a good flight prepared. Maybe in Florida. Let's check out this airport. Thunderstorms everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, my favorite Marvel movie. You know... Wait, uh, Spider-Man isn't under... Oh, it is. Is Sp yeah, Spider-Man's under Marvel. 
I like some of the Spider-Mans. I thought the new one they did was cool. But I never got into the Avengers or any of that stuff. Now this helicopter also started as a free project. Oh my god, dude. The frames are good, so it was that helicopter. Kinda good. <clears throat> hey Max, I don't know if you have uh, like any stake in that helicopter, but a weird thing it did for me is as soon as the screens died, the stream FPS got better. Uh, like, not my overall FPS in the simulator window that I see, but what you guys see got better as soon as those screens died. I have no idea what the connection to that would be. It made no sense to me. Spider-Man is good. The originals I liked up until number three. That movie was just weird. I don't know. Toby Maguire was an okay Spider-Man. I guess he's coming back, really, isn't he? And then the last guy they had was cool, too. I thought the funny they pulled off wasn't corny. There's a way to be funny in these movies, and then there's, like, a corny way to go about it. I don't know, like, the corny stuff. Especially in superhero movies. It's just the stuff they say in the moments they're in sometimes. Well, it's time to go save the world. No, shut up. Nobody says that. Nobody would say that. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Uh, screens died about... Let me look at... That probably happened about 30 minutes ago. Maybe 30 minutes in? So they died. But isn't that strange, though, that... That, that like... I would expect if the screens to die and there was an FPS issue, that the FPS gain would be in the simulator, and then you guys would also see that in the stream, but for it to pretty much stay the same for what I'm seeing, but then improve on the stream end is kind of weird to me. You've done a ton of liveries for this one? What's your favorite livery that you've done? This helicopter is great. Anybody just wants to start out with helicopters and get a free one, get this one. This thing is, is amazing. And they have a payware one too. They kind of practiced on this one for their payware. Uh, is it one of those projects where they're just... It's updated somewhere else other than Flight Sim.2. Because I know some developers work like that. They have uh, like their developer version somewhere else hosted. Just happy the stream is somewhat behaving. Oh yeah, yeah, the FPS varies that way. Uh, 
I don't know, but as soon as I started streaming the Blackhawk yesterday and today, uh, I can't get good FPS in the stream on uh, my on Streamlabs, the Streamlabs preview window. Which then when I go to YouTube and watch what you guys are seeing, you're also seeing it choppy like that. But what I'm seeing is close to 60 frames per second. But what you guys are seeing is like 12 frames per second. And I messed with all my settings yesterday. I couldn't figure it out. Um, but then when those screens died, that changed. And then now this helicopter. Like, it's still not smooth like what I'm seeing, but it's... It's tolerable more than what it was giving you guys. Xbox will eventually get helicopters, I think. Uh, it is on Microsoft's list, or Sobo's list, uh, to do helicopters. Uh, it's just the community didn't want to wait, and they built their own helicopters. So, either somebody will release a pay one, or, or whatever. But I don't know how that's going to work, because the way they've managed to do it on PC is through external apps that totally bypass the physics of Microsoft Flight Sim, and it uses their own physics. I'm hoping they sort it out on Xbox, though, for the freeware. People need their own marketplace. It's got to be outside the Microsoft marketplace. I think they're going to find people really want that. Do a loop? I'm not really high enough to do it. Thanks, Executive. You just killed our helicopter. Well, that's what a loop does. There you go. Hope you hope you enjoyed that. Now we can't fly. Thanks. I'm just kidding. Seven twenty-three to nine twenty-three. Well, the Blackhawk didn't work out, so this isn't really a Blackhawk stream anymore. So I don't know what to do. Excuse my sniffling. It's okay, man. I was just messing around. When your original stream plan kind of like falls through, you're kind of left wondering what to do. <laughs> no, it's funny. It's funny. I like that sound. It sounded like the engine was eating itself. This plane is fun, dude. 350 knots. You sent me the new build. Where'd you send it? Uh, it didn't come through. Did you send it in chat? I don't see it. I was flying in Indonesia, but it's kind of falling through. I guess what you do in this situation is you start doing uh, landing challenges. Or just send it on Discord. Did I get the rocket guy installed? No, just the boat. I don't have many installed. I've gone through my community folder and deleted a bunch of stuff. Some things I'm just going to put back as soon as I use them. Oh yeah, I still haven't done a stream with this. With the 208B, without the cargo. Looks cool.
Yeah. Yeah, I got a Discord. I think it's linked in the description. Uh, it's just a few down on the link list. You can send it there. You guys got any ideas? Do you want to watch that? Just want me to do landing challenges? I'll probably like end this one, delete it, start a new one, or do it on top of this one. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. Z plan was foiled. Sikorsky. I wonder if the SH-60 acts the same way. I know. I know. Blackhawk's not working out good, though, for me. Oh, post it in... Post it in Microsoft. Or you can... Um, you can DM me with it, too, if you want. Please don't send me a virus. Yeah, but what aspect? Um, Real pilots don't fly FS-2020, its flight dynamics are so unrealistic. Yeah, default are. But what developers have been able to do are completely write their own flight dynamics. That's what PMDG is doing. That's what Phoenix is doing. Well, I think that's what Phoenix is doing. And that's what... Uh, like, like that Bell 47 helicopter. I don't think I have it installed right now. That is created by a real Bell 47 pilot and completely wrote his own physics. So, I mean, the default aircraft in these sims have never been good. They're never good. They're not good on X-Plane 11. Ni I mean, 90% of them are, are trash. The planes, the default planes you get. Um, same with prepared. Totally garbage default aircraft. And mm, partially, that's how it is with this sim. Uh, the 172s, 152s are good. Um, but really, what makes these sims work is third-party development. So you gotta use those. You gotta use those. Because I heard the same complaints when X-Plane 11 came out. I heard the exact same complaints. Because there was nothing developed for it yet. You had the default aircraft, a few planes, but then when you started getting Zebo and Flight Factor and all those aircraft coming out, then people came around. And that's what Microsoft is going through right now. Nobody flies default aircraft. They don't. They do when they have to, when a, a sim first comes out. Um, but the fact that you can externally completely rewrite the physics on your own is a big deal. And that's how they're doing it. That's how it's going to work. Yeah, I don't want the coronavirus. I agree with you there. I don't want that at all. So is it on Discord? I forgot to go to Discord. Sent in chat. I see it. Oh, you pulled it straight from their their forum, huh? Build a. It's downloading. Three hundred and twenty megabytes. Cool. Just join the, the the Discord. 
All right, Roger that. Yep. Notice that's your name. So if we get that installed, maybe we'll try it. Maybe we'll have different results. It's taking its time though. In the meantime, we can fly, I suppose. Oh, never mind. I heard he finished. It's exporting. Oh, of course. I would delete it. Airland FS good? I don't need to update that. No, it's already in the folder, right? Documents, community folder, where's community folder? All right, I'm gonna close Microsoft. Put the end splash. Pasted, loading in. I can see. Looks like they worked on it last night. 10 2. Executive, you're taking off? We'll see what happens. Wrong message. Wrong message window. Mm hmm. It's in there. Do you want to take it out of the destroyer 121 folder, though? And should it be its own separate thing? Because I know they give it to you in the package, but. Does it stay there? Putting my settings on professional. I want to be a professional pilot. Okay. The MH sixty or I'm sorry, the UH sixty CFG. Roger that. Well, 
Next week will go better, I hope. Be back in the Zebo. Jazz in this list. Oh, this song. I like this song. Used it for the Reno video. Alright. Shoot. Oh, there it is. Just wondering why it wasn't showing up. Starting over here, this airport land right here. Really? This is the live weather? I've never seen it so good. It's always so cloudy. FPS look good. Maybe that old version was, was causing me all these issues. <laughs> Wasted my, my time then. Trying to figure out what was causing it. flying. We're flying, folks. We're on the move. So this is build eight. Whoa, 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 whoa. You fly it all the time? Might be a helicopter I fly a lot. Once it's developed more. There goes an A320. How did he know? How'd you load in that fast and know where I was at? Because I picked a random airport. I guess he had time. Yeah, it's not too bad, the flight model. I mean, it's, it's, it works.
Yeah, that was the first thing I noticed. And do these actually have trim, or is it that trim... Like, the Huey has, uh, it doesn't really have trim, but it has a button you set that, like, trims it out based on your current pitch, I think. Well, I guess I could find out in myself. It does have trim, it seems like. Going nose up. Yep, it does. Okay. So, for me, I think the trim would get off a little bit. Let's keep looking for airports, though. See what we got coming up next. W A U P. There's a whole bunch behind us too. At the end of that river, or that way. Actually, I like the plan of going to the right. And the oil temp stays kind of high. Look at that madman. No, no crazy gunners. Might need them, though. Got a rogue A320 out there. Lightning. We're going to start off going to the right. Make sure you make your right turn. Hey, what's up, Blue? It was great meeting you at Expo. Busy today, stop by to say hi. Can't wait to fly this bird. Yeah, it's not bad. Just, uh, someone just gave me the update. Uh, but it was really nice talking to you, too. I wish I could have talked to you more. Um, that one guy kind of hijacked the conversation a little bit uh, by the fire pit. But, yeah, um, glad I ran into you. There's some people I I saw in passing, and I didn't see them again, but I, I was glad we got, to, we got to talk at least a little bit. To do something together one day um, in the sim. Maybe DCS. As soon as I get better. Yeah, I see what you mean. It overspeeds. <laughs> it's, it's overspeeding there. Yeah, it, it seems like the overspeeding too, it, there's no rhyme or reason for it. It'll just happen even you're on the same power settings and pitch. And we just passed that airport, which is on our right somewhere. Morning, flying in lineman. Seems like everybody wakes up at this time. I should start my stream at uh, 7 a.m. The fire pit guy. Yeah, he totally meant well. He totally meant well. Was where most of my socializing happened at that fire pit. Saw you guys checked out that 7-3. That is really cool. The closest one I know of, if you don't know somebody, is Anaheim, California. They have a place you can go fly the 7-3. It's stationary and they have uh, a couple raptors too. Actually more than a couple. I think there's like five or six.
Oh my god, yeah, we're going 250 now. I don't know. I don't know why it does it. Hey, good morning. Hey, just arrived. Thanks for the vid. Can you do an external view? Yeah, yeah. I'll do one real quick. We're just trying to get this under control and uh, find the runway I'm actually looking for. And there, it just dropped. Could be a wind issue, the way it's handling the winds. There it is. There's the runway. All right, I'll give you an external view really fast. Oops, that's not a good one. I'll give you more on the ground. Let's get it on the ground real quick. Oh, I bet. And interesting, I saw part of um, your podcast, interesting, how you were pointing out the, the size of everything. Like, I think you were talking about... Um, the IRS system, how it's like way back over there. We're, we're just used to panning up and clicking it. So it'd be cool to see that. I've never been inside of one, just in passing, getting off flights. That's all I know. I remember noticing how big the screens are. He actually landed. It's funny, I turned right as that happened. Alright, we're gonna try to land too. Something is pushing us back. But yeah, this is free. The latest version is now on my Discord. I guess the latest isn't on FlightSim.2. I have to get it through Google Drive. I'm on the West USA server. Stay out of the trees. Just need some grass blowing, and this would look cool. Has anybody ever achieved that in the sim? Like the grass effect on landing? Maybe DCS. I think DCS has it. I don't know about X Plane Prepared. Cool. Got it down. Okay, here's your external view. Now, this is where the sounds get kind of weird when it's at idle. I think they're just limited on the tracks they have. So they, it kind of loops. And there he goes, into the trees and off the mountain. We're going to need a rescue. Flying planes. Go up to those couple airports up that way. I have to go get some more coffee, so just give me a few minutes, and I'll be right back, and then we'll continue this journey. Hopefully our screens don't die. Yep, 
Yeah. So I'll be back. I'll be back in a few minutes. Please, um, take care of my helicopter for me. Until I return. Okay, what did I miss? Not much. Black Hawk, that's right. Black Ops. I'm watching the Black Hawk. Hi, Chair. How are you? Oh, shoot! 
There's another Black Hawk. Yesterday that didn't work. Yesterday any other Black Hawks were just a big green square, <laughs> which was kind of funny to see a, a flat square flying around. All right, let's get going. I'm going to head to uh, WAZO. You can see it up there, upper right airport to our southeast. Let's head there, see what that's all about. I have one more hour to fly, then I have to start getting ready for the day. Taking my daughter to go watch football with my dad. Got the Carolina game. Shit, I'm all messed up here. Got the Carolina game to watch. And then... I gotta see Tom Brady play his old team. You're the one next to me? Cool. Glad you can make it. So I guess we gotta make a U-turn. Whose real name? Alright, we're rolling. Even though it likes to overspeed, I'm going to do my best to not let it overspeed. It flies a lot smoother when it's not oversped. How did you get that giant bee in the chat? Oh, is that one of the emojis? From the letter part. <clears throat> Allah al Ahmed al Hassan al Haram. Long name. My real name is Patrick. Some people call me Pat for short. From Max 87. Uh, it's just probably what they're using to build it for now. I would imagine this is placeholder. Kind of like the H135 started out with. I almost feel like the taking down the video I made of. Um, the first video of that H-135 because it's it's nowhere near that now. I just told you, but the chat might be slow. So, there, you already heard it, yep. Emergency services RPC. Thanks for the sub. Coming up on the next airport, these don't they're not as far as they look on the map. Yeah, I'm in Multiplayer West USA server. Hey, all the way in Brazil. How's it going? Airliner's keeping up, man. It's impressive. If I had had the time, I would have gone on Flight Sim 2, probably downloaded a bunch of these. I'm sure people have done a lot of freeware. Not for all of them, of course. There's hundreds of airports in this country, it seems. You know what, I'm going to go approach it like I would landing, and then I'll taxi somewhere. Mara Hole. Hope I'm saying that right. 
Thank you for some subbing. All right, Executive Director, you gotta sleep. Got an exam tomorrow. Good luck on your exam. Thanks for coming by, and yeah, you'll catch the next stream, I'm sure. There'll be some notice to it. Take care, man. Have a good week. Let's get a quick outside view. Wow, that's nice. It's doing its panning all on its own. Just because I'm in a turn. Or doing that. The camera moves if, uh, if the plane is turning. It kind of pans around the plane to keep up with it. Oh, shoot. Just see. I want to show you guys external views, but damn it. It really kills you. This is kind of how that Bell 47 was. I couldn't break attention for a second. Like, even looking off the window to look at a chart or something, you'd get so unstable. You have to stay looking at it, because it's just a huge balance act. Gotta try full helicopter sim at FS Expo. Sort of full. I mean, had everything. Had the panel. Had all the hardware. Stick, cyclic. Full size. I think it was, yeah, one to one scale. Probably would have been nicer though with like some type of projection. But I understand you can't really do that. Not in a bright expo floor. I'm trying to get on this white thing. This white patch of grass that the satellite picked up. Probably something parked here. Max. It handles okay, actually. It's using Airland FS to run the, the uh, physics. And I'm running it on the professional mode. I always like to do these on the hardest mode. Just because it, it makes you better at it. That was nice. I like this, uh, this lineup we got here. It's very Vietnam. Not the same helicopter, but it's, it looks like it. We need I'm gonna get a copyright strike, but screw it.
also I'm trying to find a new song. Ah, oh, where'd the playlist go? Anyways, that was Creedence Clearwater. The Forever Jungle Helicopter Song. Mood. Uplift. Okay, now, where was that airport? <laughs> We're in between two of them. Nope. Fine. I'll settle for that. Okay, where the hell are we going now? I saw it when we were way above it. And I've been playing with music. Oh, I think it's over there. Currently playing WW3. That music was nice, nice. Now this actually looks paved. I'm moving my head like I can do my track hour right now. Get used to it. Get used to it after a while. Okay, I gotta find a way into this airport now. It's pretty windy. Pretty windy. Just turning around is difficult. I'm just gonna have to pivot it. Pervert! Pervert! <laughs> this airliner. Let's watch him do it. Oh, I thought he was landing. Too far, too far. How did I get that far from the airport? Jeez. Oh, I see. It's kind of hidden. If you go that way, it's below this hill. Man, this is difficult. I'm using live weather. I, I don't even know what it is. But the wind is strong.
Look at the runway curve. That's strange. Somebody on the runway? <laughs> Look at that. You have to curve. It's probably not like that. Or or it was at least not meant to be painted like that. This is all the AI. Look at this shadow. How is he turning like that? Oh, it's a helicopter. It's definitely a helicopter. Stupid model matching. This is a hill, shoot. Oh, sorry. The camera bugs out, turns like that on its own. Clearly a helicopter. Why would it put it as an A320? Or 787. It's either one. Can't tell on the scale. That's so stupid. But funny. It is funny to see a, an airliner behaving that way. Alright, so this airport's a little farther, but not too much farther. W A U L. Yo, 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 yo. I don't want to hit you, even though it doesn't matter. Gotta play by the. The rules. into some clouds. I don't know how to fly this thing. Oh, 330. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at it thinking it's kind of too big to be an A320, but it looks like one. Yeah. I forgot it has those. What's up, Mazda Base? Just subbed and missed it. Rainier? Rainier sales? Thanks for subbing. Well, you guys, we can do anything we want with the weather. We can make it look really pretty. Always my favorite. Always my favorite here. Big and bold preset. It's big and bold. Oh, seven GTX fist bump to you as well, sir.
Oh, you're in the H-135. Good, solid helicopter. What livery are you using? It is ridiculous that you're flying a 135, I have the 135 installed, and it makes you an A330. That makes so much sense. There has to be a way for them to be able to tell it that... <laughs> it already does tell it, because some people who are the, the 135 come in as the 135. So, and then some come in as A330. Why would that be one? Where do you get those other presets? Which ones? smaller than that. That's kind of funny to put it there. It looks like it's, it's supposed to be there. Except it messed up all my airports now. Because I played with the size of it. Shoot. What if I zoom in, zoom out? It kind of works. Is it realistic? Well, it's not easy. I don't know what an H-60 is supposed to feel like. It's using an app called Airland FS, so it's external code for the physics. And a lot of the Flight Sim helicopter experts are involved in that project, uh, Airland FS. You're on the left. Oh, yeah, 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 there you go. Going under. Oh, oh, the weather presets. I'm sorry. I didn't click what you meant. Uh, that's Weather Preset Pro. I think it's like seven, ten dollars something like that. Just uh, Google SoFly Weather Preset Pro. It'll come up. I think you can get it through Orbex, too. Adds a ton of them, though. A ton of them. Like wildfire. Wildfire looks pretty cool. Right now it looks weird because I think the elevation we're at. But normally that looks pretty cool. I mean, if you haven't seen rainbows in the sim yet, you could do like... Which one was it? There's one where you usually see it. Oh, morning dew. Sometimes you see a rainbow with this one. Arctic chill, snowstorms, stuff like that. You can add a bunch of things. I like being bold though. Hey, there's another airport ahead. It wasn't the original one I was going to. But I'm going to it now. West USA server, Sam. I think it'll always be that server. I don't think I'll ever change it.
There it is. Slow down. I don't want to lose it. I think I've been to this one. Or one of them. I remember one you come in from the river. Actually, no. I don't think it's this one. The one I went to had a little more detail. I think I want to land more near the river, though. I'm just getting carried away down the river. <laughs> I know the airport's over there, but I like this spot. See around me. I got trees in the way or not. I need a crew chief. I think I'm okay. Amp camera. Try to put it down closer, it'll look cool. a good shot. I like the thumbnail I got, but I might have to upload. Oh, there's another one. We got to get a group photo somehow. Maybe, um... One of you stay there, like, I, let's, let's get a group photo, but we all need to, like, move together. I think you and me should move. The guy over here. I think that's Max. Max, I think you're good. If you stay in that spot. 
Hopefully he hears me before I move, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. Oh, he didn't hear me. This might be for the thumbnail, I don't know. Or I'll take one when we are flying together. If we could fly in formation, that would be pretty cool. Ooh, with the gray clouds, Blackhawks. I don't think my clouds are on ultra right now. Shoot, they're on high end. Where should your placement be? Maybe behind in the middle? This calls for showcase camera. LSR, we'll call you LSR. Thanks for the sub, bud. Actually, I need to record this on my own. Alright, enough, enough of this song. Ugh. Well, let me fix these clouds. I'll try to anyway. I turned a lot of things down for the stream, but I always like to have the clouds up on Ultra. It's not really going to help him, but for the thumbnail, you'll never know. What's up, HK? Oh no, not my creation. Destroyer 121. Hey, what are you doing, man? You gotta get in a group photo. Don't make me board this helicopter. Looking at my helicopter from another person's helicopter. Sikorsky. Almost like the Huey. You know? Alright. Things are going pretty good. No, I have no stake in building these. Somebody else did. Destroyer 121. And uh, it's running off uh, Airland FS with code. Alright, let's check out KPD. Yeah, the Huey's nice. Got a good one on DCS. Free, by the way, if you want to try a good Huey this weekend. Download DCS. It's free. And then you can also try the Huey for free. Two weeks. 
and the rest of their stuff as well. I'll try to plug that whenever I can to people who don't know. DCS is not really mainstream, you know? Not like... Like, if you bring up Ace Combat, I think a lot of people have heard of that and remember that. But if you bring up DCS, a lot of people aren't going to know what that is. Cobra's nice too. The Sea Stallion? I don't know it off that name. Yeah, there's that overspeed issue. I think it's just the way it handles the wind coming in. That'll obviously get fixed. And then it just gets... See how it's, it even goes up to 300 knots? But there's no there's no reason for it to. It's not pitched. It's not throttle. That's the only hiccup I've seen with this helicopter is this. And it doesn't happen all the time. It's periodically. It's just... I don't know. The airspeed just goes crazy out of nowhere. Your instruments turned off? Oh, are you on the... Uh, you must have the problem I had earlier. And it's the version... It's the older version if you got it off FlightSim.2. And I didn't know that either. You have to get the latest one off their Discord. Yeah, it, it's... It is pretty complicated for, uh, for general people that just want to jump in and fly. Which you can do in DCS, but you gotta make sure your buttons are mapped. They do not help you out with that. I have uh, limited control right now over this helicopter. It's going 200 knots at near idle. And it's not letting me really turn around or do anything. I gotta get it to slow down first. too bad. I don't know what's going on with it. It's just because it's an overspeed. When it's not overspeeding, it's fine. There. There, at least we're out of that. Where am I at on this map? Okay, now we can get somewhere. We got out of that. Yeah, check their Discord. I had no idea either. So I flew that version too. Had that screen problem earlier. Damn, there goes that speed spike again. Look at that. Look how it just overspeeds. Pitched nose up too. But that they'll fix that. You can't I can't judge it. Oh my god, it's still going nose up. It's trimmed all the way down, too. Hey, look at the rate it's climbing. Oh man, it messed up. It's been fine this whole flight. It just rocketed up into the air. It's like an autopilot turns on or something. Look, 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 look at the airspeed. Look at it climb. We're at almost level flight. Look, it's going 200, 300. We're going up into the clouds. <laughs> look, we're nose up. It's going to go 400. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> and the music. Oh, that's hilarious. To me, anyway. Uh... Oh, man. How do I 
get out of this one. Oh shoot, there's mountains. That was mildly entertaining. I'm going to KPE. I'm only getting the three letters right now. I doubt it. It's probably got one more letter. Or maybe that is the actual code. Come on, helicopter. What are you going crazy about? Is it the wind that's bothering you? What is going on here? Get it together, helicopter. It's on drugs. You've been in VR for six hours. What did you do? Do a long haul flight? What happened? Brother man, why won't it stop over speeding? Please. This helicopter doesn't even have this much power to get to that kind of speed. It's like I was in, you know, demo mode, and the demo's over, and now the helicopter's unflyable. That's what it feels like. There it goes again. We're very far from the airport we were trying to go to. Do we need to get this thing into maintenance? If I even make it to the airport. You'll be a stole plane. Oh, cool, you bought the pack. Yeah, that'll make some of your uh, bush flights pretty nice. It's nice to have, just have presets that way. And then you can control them too. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's been good. It's been a good helicopter for about an hour and a half. And now it's out of control. We broke it. Oh, you know what we did that was differently is showcase camera. That was the first time I used that on this entire flight. And showcase camera, sometimes, rarely, but I've seen it happen, can screw up a plane when you get back into the cockpit. Same with uh, replay modes. That might be what we have here. It might have took something out of the plane that it needs, I don't know, to, to handle correctly. Because now we're, we're like a fighter jet. What if I open and close uh, Airland? Uh, well, that didn't do anything. That just made me crash. <laughs> oh, let's restart it with Airland and Airland at the same time. Just won't use Showcase again, but I'm glad I used it to get that photo we took. I'll probably use that. All right, Ireland is running. I gotta find the airport though. What time is it? Okay.
Hmm. Or what's a part we should check out since we're here? Oh, there's a lot of airports right there. Yeah, let's try this one. Hey, some of these airports would be pretty easy to do in the SDK. <laughs> Two flights. That is some solid VR time. Fly model professional pilot, okay. Alright. Alright, Yunions. Let's go. Much better. Much better. Something just broke on that last flight. Much better. Night and day. Some people probably saw that and was like, what? This helicopter is whack, but I think um, Airland FS, like, disconnected, which it needs for the physics. Just like that, we're already at another airport. How about that? So easy to lose these runways. So many trees covering them up. Blue lightning. Oh yeah, we're not on big and bold anymore. Live weather is cool and all, but Came from NDN, so go up to EFG. Oh, sweet. What'd you take out? A robin? Can't tell what that is. Alright, just staying here for a minute. Now we'll head away. Just getting our landing practice in. You know?
Whoops. I was trying to turn around and look at him. There he goes. Otherwise, I would have just taken off. Oh, he's going that way. Now I gotta turn again. Understandable, though. He needed more runway. Getting a full turn in this is difficult. I mean, quick one. Anyway. I'll wait for you guys. Or I'll go slow. Yet another dirt strip. This is possibly the one we started at. I think it is. After that reload. Just checking out their village. It's a good spot to land right there. Beautiful. Nice view. I love these helicopter flights. So much fun. Just being able to get into like little areas like this. Nice. Nice job, everyone. What's next? A Y M A. Let's do it. Gotta go right. Through near there. You made it, man. You are a hardcore flight simmer. Oh, 
Oh, actually this way. Actually, there's no way around it, really, unless we keep going down there. I think we have to climb. Unless there's an opening. Let me see. Might be. There it is, the H60. Turned out to be a fun stream. Wasn't sure I'd get that bitrate issue fixed when we first started out. But it worked itself out a little bit. Which eases my mind, because that means I don't have to fix anything and I can actually stream when I'm ready to stream. like we hit a wave. Why does it do that? <laughs> Maybe it is a big updraft. Maybe that's the whole issue here. It's doing that stuff again. I can't get down in that mountain. There's no way. Yeah, it's being weird again. This is uh, like I got the nose pinched all the way down. Well, it's 9 a.m. anyway, so I have to stop streaming, I think. So I'll just try to put it down. Oh, shit. It's being so weird again. I'm on a weather preset, so I don't see the wind, like, being all crazy. Isn't it pretty consistent with the preset everywhere you fly? Oh, I could probably do it, though. Nice looking approach. 
Somebody was just there in front of us. Oh man, please let me land. I got powered idle, there's no reason it should be climbing. It's just a bug. Just wanna get her into a hover. Cause we are way too high. trees to get around. The JU-52, I don't think I've seen it. Beautiful spot to stop, I think. Very nice. I'm gonna hover here just for a minute and enjoy this. I'm gonna turn the VFR map off. Oh yeah, dude. Helicopter's been here for several months. Uh, it started as uh, H-135, the freeware project, and it was very basic when it first came out, and they've made it really nice. That one's free on FlightSim.2. This H-60 just came out the other day. It's free. It's still a work in progress. There's a Bell 47 payware, and there's a R-44 that also just came out. But yeah, man, full-on helicopters. It's hard to fly in external mode. That's a good sign that you're flying a good helicopter too, that you can you can't spend too much time in external mode. I find it really difficult to stay in external mode for too long and control it. Yeah, only PC version for now. Uh, Sobo is supposed to be making helicopters too. Uh, but for now, just people in the community started doing it themselves. Which is, uh, which is possible. Anybody who knows how can write their own physics for these planes. I love helicopter flying. I just love the slow flight. The ability to hover in one spot and look at something if you want. With a plane, you have to keep circling and looking out the side window, which is cool too, but I don't know, something about helicopters. Hey, Heli Simmer! Sergio! Welcome. Just talking about my love of helicopters now. Thanks to Microsoft Flight Sim, actually.
they have improved me a little bit in Aerofly and DCS as well. I'm much better than I used to be. But this one's nice. I'm just taking in the sights here. I, I need to put it down. Do a Huey hot drop. It'll be nice once that stuff gets incorporated to drop things. I think that'll be coming, you know? But yeah, if you guys like helicopters, make sure you check out um, helisimmer.com. This is where you get all the main flight sim news for helicopters. And Sergio is very knowledgeable and reviews these products and uh, also gives his input throughout the community and uh, helping a lot of these helicopter pro uh, projects from the beginning, giving them advice and helping them out. So make sure, helicopter fan, check out that website. Yeah, you know, I think it's the scenery. I think having the scenery we have on, on the scale that we have it, and then having helicopters, you know, whether they're study level or not, it's still, you know, you're getting the, the basic idea down of a helicopter in flying these. Uh, I think that really roped me in is the scenery. I'm gonna put it down this time. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, and thank you. I've been following and reading your stuff for a while, so anything I can do. Yeah, thanks, Max, for sharing this. Uh, it's much better than that other one on Flight Sim.2. If it's different, they should update it soon. Maybe they just didn't get around to it. But I would update that before people download it and then, um, you know, get frustrated. Or don't pick it up again. Uh, color of the grass, it's probably wrong. I think overall what we're seeing right now is a little too colorful for real life. Which is the lighting and, and atmospherics right now. If you change it, it would look even, it would look pretty dull. I'm going to put it on that red dirt. Just because it's a, a marker. I like how our music always somehow syncs up with the moment. Except that was when I was supposed to put it down. Where'd, um, where'd the rest of the crew go? Oh, everybody already landed, huh? But alright, everybody. That's it for the stream today. It was fun. Worked out. I enjoyed using this, and I'll definitely be paying close attention to how this one updates. A lot of fun. So, that's it for me. Um, hope you guys enjoy your weeks. I'll try to be back next week with some type of stream. Probably X-Plane 11. And, yeah. We'll have some great fun with that. Alright, everybody. Peace. Enjoy.